It's uh, Thursday, June the 27th. Fourth of July is fast approaching. Yes. We're going to talk a little bit about that. In fact, we'll have a separate video. Here in just a, a little bit, yep. and you'll get to see it next week. Um, I have come to a conclusion um, that? that I believe I would not be surprised if the third quarter – with what is going on in the economy, with where it is in the summer, with what happens in the summer that folks uh, travel and go away, and with the election, that we don't see a bumpy third quarter. And we're already starting to see it. I mean, right. housing starts, housing finishes uh, are, all, are all down. Even new permits are down. So really, ev every <laughs> facet of, of, of a house being built is slowing down. Retail sales are slowing down, and unemployment is starting to inch up. So all of these are starting to show that the economy is starting to squeeze. I heard a money manager say that she had positioned her funds at this point in time to be slightly underweight in equities. And I started thinking about that in terms of us. If, if our typical portfolio in the ideal situation is 60% in equities, 40% in um, fixed income and cash. I would tell you at this point in time, knowing our portfolios in general, we are in an underweight position. In fact, about 50-50. 50. So I would tell you we are underweight in equities. So from my perspective, unless there is something that intensifies as a warning sign we should do things, I think we are positioned correctly to go through the third quarter. I agree. But I want to let you know, I do believe it would not surprise me if July 1st numbers and then September 30th numbers, it's down in that quarter period of time. It would not surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me either. Um, and we just had a bunch of uh, bonds. We won't get specific on, on bonds, but they matured, and we've redeployed cash right. in to other bonds, and in some cases, some equities. So if you if you saw your if your if you saw your statement and you saw a lot more cash than normal, that's why, and and we are doing something about it. Also, to let you know, uh, we all as a group are making phone calls where we need to be just to uh, fall in line with a compliance request to get uh, uh, accounts that are registered possibly as growth-oriented that is conservative. We, we got to get the correct verbiage for compliance. It, it doesn't, it, it, it's a satis it, it satisfies um, what compliance wants to know. It lets you know that's where we are at this point in time. It doesn't change anything, and we're able to do this uh, via um, uh, e-signature. So uh, if you hear from our office, uh, if you hear from one of us, that's what it is. It's not a big deal because we can go back at it, any it, this point. This dates all the way back to COVID. Yes. Because we, we took por portfolios to, to such a conservative nature back in twenty. And then we've had all that's uh, been thrown on our plate um, over the last two or three years. So we haven't gotten portfolios back in most cases to where they were opened at, at whatever the risk tolerance was at that time. So you're usually behind a little bit. So that's what we're doing is just cleaning that up so that everything matches. Yeah, from, from a paper standpoint. From a paper standpoint. It, it is, that's all it is. And then finally, with the uh, warning of or thought process that the third quarter could be a little bit bumpy, um, neither one of us have changed our thought that by the end of the year, uh, everybody is saying that the market, there is the fourth quarter where the rally opportunity is. Um, historically, we've looked back the quarter after the election period, the more times out of not, that period That's is up. up. And quite frankly, we'll tell you this, for those that we want to be in technology, which is virtually everybody, and be in the right position, if we have a bumpy uh, if we have a bumpy third quarter, and if in the Magnificent give us buying opportunities to buy in at a cheaper, because if you look at the Magnificent Seven, I know you can. We'll talk uh, separately, but let us go on and wish you a happy Fourth of July. If you have any questions, please give us a call. We do this each and every week because we know it is your money. And your money matters. See you uh, here after the Fourth.